Hmm. Should we go for a trip? Hmm. All right, he's in his car, he's getting ready for this road trip. And now he is in DC at the Lincoln Memorial. That's cool, I've been there. All right, he's at the Grand Canyon having a grand time. Oh, okay, he's at a bank and he has a ski mask on. It's not the greatest idea, but maybe it was just a cold day. Oh, nope, nope, he's, he's definitely robbing the bank. He's got bags of money and there are guns pointed at him. Oh, wow, okay, they're in a high-speed chase now. He's trying to get away. Jacob, what have you done? Hey, Ryan, ah! we should get the show started. We don't have very much time. What's up, everybody? I'm Ryan. And I'm Jacob. We have a new set for you guys. Hope you like it. It's pretty cool. Today, we're going to be talking about the Viewmaster. What do you think? It's really interesting. I always considered the GAF Viewmaster an ingenious invention. Of great educational value. Gee, I always thought it was just a lot of fun. So we all love Viewmaster. How did this great thing start? So it has a pretty interesting story. It was invented by William Gruber and it was marketed towards adults under a photo finishing service and postcard business. And it was basically an update to the stereograph viewer, which was popular in the 19th century. The improvements in technology came from a reel of seven images and a slide. And the color pictures, thanks to this newly released Kodachrome film, which made it easy to make small, high quality color images. While the Viewmaster property was a hit, it would be sold and merged several times as a company, finally ending up under Mattel and marketed to preschoolers under Fisher Price. So how did this go from being a product that was marketed to adults to more of a younger crowd? Yeah, that's pretty weird. The characters look and sound so real. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge! You think you could reach in and touch them. Because 3D was being more and more popularized at the time, and it was easier and easier to get a hold of 3D that adults cared about this product less, and it was easier to get children and kids on board with this product. So in 2008, Mattel called it quits to the development of the scenic reels, which up until this point had been based off of some of the very first Viewmaster slides. So it seemed for Viewmaster, it was hitting an all-time low point. Nobody likes a quitter. Batteries not included. In 2015, Mattel announced a collaboration with Google to reinvent the Viewmaster. Paired with your smartphone, you can now view panoramic 360-degree images via a downloadable app. That actually sounds pretty cool. Um, 360 videos are a thing now here, and the 360 images that you can just view and look around. I think it's uh, actually a really great way for them to stay relevant and uh, be forward thinking. But this is Retro Reviews, so we're going to take a look at the old Viewmasters and see if they stood the test of time. Just add water. Instant classic. All right, well, I haven't actually put my hands on one of these in a couple of years. A lot of different models here from different decades but they all seem to do the same thing. This one's a little different right here, this. The Casper brand. This guy's like basically a projector. You shine it at a wall and then you get an image. And it doesn't give you the depth because it's basically uh, a flashlight. You can change the slide on here right, right there. Once it's on, it, pr it projects a really pretty harsh light. Here we have Simba as a baby. Uh, Jafar. Yeah. Or, yeah, well, it, I don't know why it's upside down. The image is upside down. You shine it on a wall. You shine it on a wall. Oh, you're supposed to. Oh, it's got a focusing ring. It's a little tight. <laughs> different model, but same principle, just functions a little differently. And I found out that these are called reels, not discs. And you can see what's going on in them if you hold them up to the light. So there's a lot of cool slides here, but most of them seem geared towards kids. So there's 14, 14 on here but we only see seven. There we go, it snaps in. But it's pretty sweet, especially when you turn it all the way to a light. <laughs> it's, a, it's Toy Story. And it does a pretty good job with the 3D. I mean, it really seems to pop out. A lot of these have a built-in light, but it's not as good as if you look towards a regular light. It's like a little window that's kind of far away. It's a little limited because it's, it's not right up against your eyeball. Looking into one of these, it's kind of like looking into a movie theater that has Square still movies. Unique stereograph viewer. This one doesn't have a light to it. It's just like 
You better use the thing that we gave you. Right, I think the slide came out somehow. This one doesn't seem to quite line up properly because you get like a double image of the raptor. So it, oh, why is that upside down? That's weird. Okay, We've got Power Rangers in here. Right, this is the one that I remember from when I was a kid. Old red. I forgot how cool these things are. This was like 3D cool before 3D was super accessible to everybody. And yeah, that's my total breakdown of the Viewmaster collection that we have. So these are pretty cool, but let's head back to the studio now and we'll give you our final thoughts. All right, so now that we've had a chance to evaluate these little guys a little bit better and remember them a little bit better, uh, I think we should go through our retro rating rubric yes. and, and uh, score these yes. bad boys We here. should definitely look at that. We have nostalgia to grade. We have weirdness. Stylishness, is this still stylish? Do we, could we see this in a store today? And uh, relevance. And relevance, yeah. All right, so well, how relevant do you think these bad boys are? Now, I think the new Viewmaster is super cool, right? But we're talking about the old model here. So, and I do not think that the old model is very relevant anymore, which is why I think they came out with VR. Give me a score, one to five. One to five. I'm gonna give you a two. A two. I'm gonna give you a two. You're a hater. It's, it's pretty low, but 3D has become so accessible to us now, it's like we need that next layer to get us interested in it, which has become VR. I don't think this would mean much to a kid nowadays. These are cheap and easy to buy. You'll find them in a garage sale anywhere. Relevant. I think these are great. I mean, I think I think as far as like relevance goes, I mean, this is definitely still relevant. I mean, I think, I think people of all ages can still like pick one up and enjoy or get some more sort of experience out of it. It's simple. It takes you two seconds to understand what you're supposed to do with it in order to enjoy it. So, four out of five. So the next thing is to go over stylishness. How stylish do you think these are? I actually think they're pretty stylish. I think that 90s is coming back in style. And this one's from the 90s, uh, 1991. So I think this kind of style is something you'd still see. But like it's a, a roundness. Yeah, and... overall, the color scheme and the style, the roundness, I think that's coming back. I'm gonna give it a 4.5. 4.5 stylishness. Most stylish thing he's had on the show so far. Uh, besides myself. Besides yourself, yeah. <laughs> what number would you get? What do you think? You know, I wanna be generous to this thing here, and I do enjoy the Viewmaster here. Uh, I'd say three out of five style. You know, I think if you're a hipster, you might have it, you know, on, on your coffee table with some discs or something like that framed on the wall or, you know, but apart from that, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. To, I, think it's, I think it's got a good look here, but it's you know, not perfect, but who is? Don't look at me. So go ahead, tell me, um, what is a nostalgia factor for you? I'd give it a four out of five. I played with these quite a bit when I was a kid. And I would, you would have had them in the classroom. I had one for myself at home. And, you know, I, I used them a lot here. They were great uh, boredom killer. And uh, yeah, fun. And uh, it definitely gave me like warm feelings to see this again here. And the fact that we were able to get, you know, six of them all together. I had Viewmaster as a kid. I played with Viewmaster, but I did not get that into Viewmaster. So the nostalgia factor, it wasn't huge for me. It wasn't huge for me. It was probably, I'd give it like a 2.4, 5, 9, 8, 1, I'm not doing decimals. Six. What is this pie? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I didn't get crazy into Viewmaster as a kid. No, you played, not, a, not a very high uh, You played with it more than I have me. since I got here. Yeah. What are you trying to say? You're trying to call me a liar? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Maybe you don't know yourself that well. Let's talk about weirdness. Okay. Yes, How uh, weird are these things? Here's something that, look, that looks like goggles that you can hold up to your eyes and you can see 3D images from them. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty used to the idea, but if you weren't, if you were like someone living in a tribe that was just introduced to this thing, yeah. I feel like you'd be like, huh, who thought of this? <laughs> like, I like it, but who thought of this? <laughs> I mean, the, I, ideally it's nice and clear and it looks like foreground, background is separated. Yeah, because it starts to look pretty weird, doesn't it, when you get two images that aren't lined so, up properly. I'm looking at Batman as what, George Clooney? Batman, <laughs> Batman Forever. That's the, that's the only Batman that I remember. That's the only? That's the only one. Chris, Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Uh, is he, um, did he play the Joker or what? who was that? That's Keith Ledger. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know who Christian Bale is. <laughs> I'm an American. 
So let's uh, give it an overall number. What would you assign this for? Just an overall uh, one out of five. Why don't we say it at the same time? Three, two, one. Five. five. Really? Five? Mm -hmm. Wow. Incredibly weird. Okay. No, I meant like overall. <laughs> Oh, overall. Overall, yeah. Oh, for everything? Yeah, for everything. What would you give it? Well, um, I would give it um, what, out of five? Out of five. Out of five? Mm -hmm. It's a four out of five for me, definitely. Four out of five? Solid. Three for me. Three for you? Three for Such me. Such a hater. Mm. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you learned something. If you liked the video, make sure you click that like button and subscribe for all the latest retro reviews. Hey, we'll see you next time. Get it? Because it's a Viewmaster. Make sure you uh, scroll down below and disc cuss and comment. Why don't you uh, slide right into that like and subscribe button? <laughs> <laughs>